So, if you haven't heard the news, Fantastic Out 2 is turned into Fantastic Out 3. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new calendar application, the new refresh, the new pricing, and also as much as you need to know about this upgrade. So, in today's video, let's dive over and jump into Fantastic Out 3. <laughs> Okie folks, now as you can see this is the new Fantastic Out 3.0. We'll be diving into the Mac version in a moment to give you some of our thoughts and opinions, but let's dive over some of the features that have changed as well as the pricing because I think that's important to note. If you want to skip this you can do using the time stamps below. So what it is offering now is cross-platform. I don't know exactly what that means. It should obviously include Android if it's technically full cross-platform, but it is available on Mac, iPad, iPhone, and Watch. They have an all-new design, apparently, with a dark and light mode, as well as file and photo attachments. And from some of the previews that I've seen on other applications, to be fair, it does look better. They have some new working abilities. So for example, you can be able to coordinate events and invites based on times, a bit like the woven scheduling features, as well as with templates and availability and event proposals. You have also got tasks, which now works with Todoist apparently, which is a pretty nice integration if you already have Todoist. Now you also have interesting calendars, which I believe was there before. Um, you now have weather, which is pulled in from Accu Weather, and you can connect up the likes of Gmail, um, Google Calendar, sorry, Yahoo, email, Exchange, iCloud, um, and uh, of course Outlook as well. They do time zones a little bit better, and uh, they now do it in uh, lots of different languages. Uh, I believe they have French before, English, German, Italian, Spanish, and Japanese. So that is the list of features. Now let's just touch on the pricing. So the pricing has changed. It previously was a full one-off year. Uh, I think it was $49.99 on at least the Mac. Um, I think the pricing was a little bit uh, sort of different on the mobile. So you do get um, you get two experiences. You get uh, free uh, and premium. Um, so you do get to download the application, of course. You can download it for free. However, you are limited. You can add accounts, add events, and do sort of regular and basic stuff. But in terms of the productivity, collaboration, and customization side, that's all locked under premium. Now, with that, you get um, all of the calendar sets, the full screen, day, month, and week, um, the customizations, the collaborations with other people, um, and uh, I guess a lot more with the weather forecasting, email support. Um, so that's uh, all obviously inside of that plan. And that plan is yearly. It's £3.95, which I believe is about 4 bucks. Uh, per month yearly it is actually the pricing and all the details so you can see here that if you pay annually it is three dollars 33 a month and that will work out at a total of 39 dollars 99. Uh, you also get a monthly plan which is four dollars 99 which we'll be going on for this sake of this review so what I've noticed as well is you get a flexible account key. So for example, if you use it on another device that has iCloud, it will then log in. So you don't have to repay for adding the iOS application. Okay, folks. So here we are with the new Fantastic Hour 3. And I'm going to start off by talking about the design. The design is a lot better. Um, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot crisper. And what I quite like about it is these weather updates. It's nice to know what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. You can click into them. You can actually see the full forecast as well if you want to, but what the temperature and the uh, weather conditions are going to be. Now, the nice thing as well is a month for you, you can get sort of a nice overview. You also get your uh, iCal um, and uh, also your iReminders or Reminders in from Apple Reminders, which is nice. So it brings in them based on the date as well. So if I take, um, you know, a day, uh, let's go with uh, tomorrow. Um, so let's go to day view. You can see that the uh, Apple reminders actually appear at the top here. Um, and you can see here that obviously the events come in really nicely. So adding an event is really easy. You can start typing it up here and it automatically populates it. Um, they have mentioned that they have um, a uh, ability to um, connect up with uh, Apple 
uh, reminders and also to doist which we'll jump into but the thing is that you can actually do um, intelligent input so you can just say like tomorrow at 4 p.m. and it will automatically um, do it and you can also propose another time here that's how the uh, integrations uh, work as well so you can add uh, a proposal and send it to specific people so as you can see here you still have the general preferences the appearance abilities the you know can actually change it to light mode um, there's actually a uh, specific dark mode as well which is nice you can also set up your accounts um, so you can open this one up and add to doist so we're going to actually do that one now okay so I've added my to doist account actually fairly easy and what it's going to start doing is bringing in all of those tasks it looks a little bit messy because I have a lot of tasks in my list but if I want to I can open them up and let's say I've filmed all my videos I can tick this off and I believe it should update on my Todoist application. Let's go over and see. So it actually updated this end, which is pretty good. So that's a two-way integration, which works really nicely. Don't know why I didn't think it would be, but that's a nice thing to have. Over here, you can actually see and modify bits of information like the project, the label. So it's actually cool that you could be able to manage your tasks inside of this. So as you can imagine, um, that's a, a neat feature. And especially if you're in the Today tab or you've set like specific times. So let me say, uh, you know, put uh, the editing at 11 a.m. Don't think you can do it, can you? Uh, if I drop that there, it doesn't seem to be working. But maybe that's just because there's a, there might be a slight bug in it or a delay in the sort of setup or connection. So you've also got week view as well, which I quite like. I think it's a really crisp look. And uh, for me, at least, it looks a lot nicer um, than before. Um, so that's a nice little update. You do have year view, which gives you like this heap map of like what's, you know, the busiest days and, and things like that. And then you can hover in um, to all of the different days, which is quite nice. So that's something you can do as well. Now, if I'm brutally honest, there's not too much new about this application. They've cleaned up a few things. They've made it a little bit easier to manage, I'd say. But in essence, it's not a dramatic upgrade. But the thing that is dramatically upgrading is the pricing. So if you have been someone that has paid before, I believe you won't have to pay. I'll double check in the information below. But again, you just have to make sure that if you're going on this one, that you're getting the $48 or $39 a year, 99 of the, the experience you get. So it is a little bit cheaper. But again, you're paying that price yearly now. You're not paying it just one off. So again, um, this is an application that um, is really good for those who are looking to connect up their Todoist to their uh, calendar, but also manage their calendars in a bit more of a cleaner iOS and Mac application. So guys, hopefully that was useful. In my opinion, I'm going to give Fantastic Hour 3 a 6 out of 10 for their release. Um, the main reason is that it's just because it hasn't changed hugely. But again, it's just gone cleaner. So maybe I'll upgrade that to a 7. But 7 out of 10 is pretty good. Um, so do check it out. But guys, a big thank you. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye.